One of the things that you learn if you use Linux long enough is that sometimes Linux breaks. It just is the nature of the beast. And honestly, if you use Linux long enough, sometimes you think Linux just kind of hates you because usually when things go wrong, they go wrong really badly and they go wrong for a significant portion of time. Like things just kind of snowball and things happen over and over again. And a lot of that is because when something goes wrong and then you end up having to like distro hop or something like that, you're going to be setting up a lot of new stuff. And when you're sitting around, you know, when you're setting up a lot of new stuff, chances are you're going to be tinkering with stuff. And when you're tinkering with stuff, things break. So there's a good chance on your new install, things are also going to break, which is going to cause you to even more, you know, angst. And it's just, you know, a repeating cycle of horribleness that sometimes it just makes it feel like Linux hates you. And that's where I'm at today. So... If you've been paying attention to the channel, you'll know that I failed the six month Linux challenge. I was challenged to use Redcore for six months. I made it for three and then weird things happen, right? Most of it, if not all of it, was a skill issue. And chances are everything that I talk about today is a skill issue. There is probably definitely someone out there who knows way more than I do that could have fixed the problems that I've had on Linux over the course of the last two or three weeks. But I can't be those people. I can only have the skills that I have and learn what I can learn. So, you know, I just have to do the solutions that I can do. So if that, that was that that was some really good, you know, grammarly gymnastics there, Matt. It was fantastic. I'm sure everybody understood exactly what you meant to get across. Good gracious. Anyways, the point is <laughs> this is gonna be one of those days. Anyways, let's move on to the rest of the video. Matt, you can you can do this. You you've done this like six hundred times. You can definitely make a video. So anyways, I failed the six month Linux challenge. So I stopped using Redcore and I decided I was going to move to Arch. So the first Arch that I installed was Arch Craft, which is an Arch based distro. And I chose that simply because that was the most recent ISO of an Arch based distro that I had. I didn't have any vanilla Arch ISOs laying on hand and I didn't have any like Arco Linux that were recent. The last Arco ISO that I had on hand was one released last year. So I went with the Archcraft ISO that I had on hand, installed it, and got all my stuff set up and was fairly happy. It was, you know, it was disappointing that I didn't finish the challenge, but, you know, it was just time to move on because of various reasons. I used Archcraft for approximately four days. And then something weird happened where I updated Arch, restarted as you should when there's a kernel update, because there's always a kernel update. And, uh, I, you know, I booted back in and it took me right to a TTY, which is never a good sign because that means your display manager didn't you know boot up so i tried to sign in with a tty and it would not accept my password now i, I you guys, if you watch my channel at all you guys know that i can't type worth a damn right uh, i type horribly a lot right it's just kind of it's, it's it's become a meme right so i just figured well, man, i mistyped my password right of course that's what i thought so i retyped the password and uh, again it wouldn't accept my password uh, and I did this over and over again until Pamlock apparently, you know, got sick of it and froze me out. Now, I had no clue that Pamlock, the, the fail lock thing in, in Pam was a thing at that point. I only learned that recently. But probably what happened was I mistyped my password three times there in Archcraft, got locked out for 10 minutes, didn't realize that that was even a thing, and uh, just decided, screw it, I'm hopping away from Archcraft. You'll never hear anybody say that patience is my virtue. I have very, very little patience for literally anything most of the time. So when I couldn't log in, and again, I didn't know that the fail lock thing was even a thing, I hopped from Archcraft to Vanilla Arch. I went and downloaded a Vanilla Arch ISO on my laptop, put it in Ventoy, and installed Vanilla Arch. And I was using that for a few days, and I'm actually not sure what happened to that install. I can't even remember. This is how many times I've had things fail on me. I've reinstalled Arch Linux three times now in the last two weeks. Uh, the first one, I don't remember what went wrong. Something went funky there. I don't, again, I don't really remember. The second one, which was the one that I just had problems with, which was yesterday. And this is kind of what spawned this video. So one of the things that I've been meaning to do for like over a year is to install my brand new backup power supply. It's a battery backup thing that you plug in and it ensures that if you lose power, which happens a lot here in the country, it allows you to basically have time to shut your stuff down properly so that, you know, you don't lose data and all that stuff, right? And I've had this brand new PSU sitting in a box in my office for over a year. And uh, normally 
I don't let technology just sit around that long, but I have a 700 pound oak desk, which my computer sits on, which and moving it is almost impossible without like three people. So the long story short is that the PSU sat there for ages, but today I had some time on my hands. I felt ambitious. So I decided I'm going to move the desk as much as I can by myself, which is usually enough. Uh, I can move it just a little bit, which means I can get back there to where the plug is. And, you know, I was... I fit, felt ambitious, so I decided I was going to do it. So I shut my computer down after doing an update and after doing a backup. And I was, you know, it was going to be fine. And the, the process of the PSG went perfectly fine. And I, I went back to re, to plug my computer back in, plugged it back in, boot it back up. And it got to grub, passed the grub test, which is, you know, usually the hurdle. And then it said that it was putting me into an emergency shell because it couldn't find my hard drives. None of my hard drives, like specifically the main hard drive, which is an NVMe, right? It, it said it could, it, it said that you could not, it could not find this UUID. It no longer existed, and I was like, the fuck? What the? What? What? What the hell happened here? Like all I did was shut the computer down, which I did it properly, like a normal person. I didn't just yank the cord, like you know some people would have, and then I come back to it, and it was this nonsense. So I was like, you know, whatever. Chances are I can just see Trude into my Arch install from a, a live ISO and uh, change the FS tab, right? I could just do a, a block ID and change the FS tab and it'd be fine. I'll just go back into it and carry on with my day. I know, that didn't work. So when I installed that version or that install of Arch Linux, there was a bug in Arch install which required you to encrypt your drive. Now, they have since fixed this if you update the Arch install script on the ISO, but I didn't know that. So I just said, screw it. And I encrypted my drive, right? Uh, you, normally I don't because this is a desktop. No one else is going to come here, but whatever. Uh, this time I did. And it turns out CH rooting into an encrypted drive, not that easy. Okay. It is possible. So I know those of you in the comment section below who are, who are listening to my ramble here are, 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 probably saying, oh, this is 100% possible. You got to just follow the directions. I did follow the, in, in, in the directions. And one of the first things you have to do is, you know, decrypt the drive or use the encrypt. There's a command that you run on the partition that is encrypted in order for you to mount it, right? But it said it wasn't encrypted, right? It, the, the error came back that the partition that I know is encrypted was not encrypted. And uh, I was like, the, the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> like what the hell? Like I know this thing is encrypted. It requires me to enter a password every single time I boot up into the system. Why are you saying it's not encrypted? It didn't make any sense to me. And I, I spent m like maybe a half an hour, forty-five minutes or so, trying to troubleshoot that. And you know, I figured, well, if it's not encrypted, then you should have no problem mounting it, right? And of course, it's not going to mount it because it is encrypted. It was an effing mess, and I'm I was just completely done. I was very disappointed because that install of Arch Linux was running fantastically. I'd gotten all my stuff set up. I had all my VMs and stuff. And the stupid me, because I don't back up my VMs. That's going to change, obviously. So I lost all my VMs. I, I can't believe I had. For whatever reason, I thought that all my VMs were stored in the home directory, but they're stored in slash var, not slash dot var or or home dot var. So I lost some data, but that's just because I'm an idiot. The bottom line is that Linux hates me sometimes, and it has for the last couple weeks, and I'm hoping that my string of bad luck here is finally over. I've reinstalled Arch Linux because I'm a masochist, apparently. I don't... Uh, apparently, you bite me once, you bite me twice, might as well bite me a third time. I, that's the way the saying goes. I, don't, I mean, I don't know. It's, it's just... I did it. I've installed Arch Linux a third time. I've promised myself that if this one here fails, I'm going back to Fedora, probably as fast as my legs can carry me, and I'll be happy on Fedora like I sh you know, sh probably should have been this time. But I'm back in Arch, and I'm using it, and I'm hoping that my string of bad luck here is over. So I just wanted to ramble about my problems for a little while. You guys are my audience, and uh, I get to choose what the videos are all about, and today I chose to make a video that was all about my issues. So I just want to reiterate, sometimes Linux hates you, okay? Things go wrong on Linux, and you, it feels like they go wrong over and over again in a short amount of time, because things just happen. And what I hope you take away from this video is that you need to have patience. 
because I don't have patience. And I probably, if I had been patient back there in the Archcraft install, and, and I had done some research, actually, actual research, I would have found out about Pam fail lock and realized that I probably mistyped my password three times, and that's the reason why I couldn't sign in. Because I've been having problems with the password that I have typing it in for a couple of weeks now. I keep putting a capital letter where there shouldn't be. Uh, whatever reason, I'm just moving too fast when I type it in, and I think I know what the hell I'm doing. I don't, apparently, and I keep mistyping it. I did it again on the last Arch install I had before it broke with the whole uh, UUID thing. It was yesterday, in fact. Um, I typed my password in wrong three times. Fail lock kicked in, kicked me out for 10, 10 minutes. It had something to do with my SSH and stuff. I, I don't need to tell that story. And uh, but the problem is that yesterday I had the patience to go search for the problem because I was like, oh no, not this problem again. So I went and searched for it and found out about fail lock, realized that that's what I had done and was able to wait 10 minutes and it just came back and was perfectly fine. If I had been patient that first time, I probably would still be on Archcraft. So the, the moral of the story, when you are having an issue, and I've t <laughs> I feel like this happens to me all the time because I have no patience. When something goes wrong, sure, I'll go try to troubleshoot it for a little while, 10, 15 minutes maybe, but if I can't find anything in that 10, 15 minutes, my patient snaps, I'm done with it, I'm hopping. It happens over and over again, and it's happened for years. I need to do better, but I hope you guys can learn from my mistakes. If you have Linux problems, don't immediately hit the nuclear option. Do as much research as you possibly can, because it could save you time and effort from actually having to set up Linux, you know, again. So... That is it for this video. If you have thoughts on my woes, you can leave those in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. I'm sure that uh, the brief amount of description of the problems that I've had, someone's going to say, well, yeah, I could have fixed this for you or I could have given you, you know, uh, advice or whatever. I'm sure that there are people out there like that. And I'm sure, like I said at the beginning, that there are many more people, much more knowledgeable about Linux that could have solved the problems. But... I could have solved the problems if I had just been a little bit more patient. So thanks everybody for watching. You can follow me on Mastodon or Odyssey. Those links will be in the video description. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash the Linux cast. Uh, thanks to everybody who does support me on Patreon and YouTube. You guys are all absolutely amazing. Thank you so very, very much for your support. I truly do appreciate it. You guys just continually blow my mind that you support me and uh, I can't thank you enough. So thank you so much. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.